Hi y'all! Welcome to my channel where I explore fragrance. My name is Melody and today I want to share with you my first ever blind buy purchase, Chant Dextas. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts, please keep watching. For blind buy was Chant Dextas and I'm not entirely sure exactly why it was my first blind buy purchase. It could have been that it was special edition. I also think the bottle is beautiful. Um, the notes were interesting, and I hadn't heard that much about it, so I was curious. Um, there was no way of me getting samples. Um, I think the box is so cute with the mermaid on it, and it was... It was in September, everybody was talking about fall, and my family was still going to the pool, and I really didn't want summer to end. So I think all of those things kind of um, had me reaching to purchase this. Um, I think the bottle is stunning um, for all those reasons. That's why I think I blind bought this. Um, before my opinions, let me give you a little bit about this fragrance. Um, it was um, created by Francis Kirk de Jong. <laughs> Once again, um, I really like a lot of his fragrances. Um, he created this one in 2018. Um, the main accords are sweet, marine, caramel, aromatic, citrus, fruity, vanilla, rose, musky, and salty. Um, let's see. The top notes are raspberry, ginger, lemon, and pink pepper. Middle notes, sea notes, rose, jasmine, magnolia, caramel, vanilla, musk, and amber green. And uh, uh, the first time I smelled this fragrance, I got a strong um, marine um, scent to it. It it opens up with that lemon and ginger, uh, which is beautiful, and then it quickly changes into that ozonic kind of scent. Uh, but the part that made me question um, was where would I wear this um, with those um, ozonic notes and I don't think of this as an everyday fragrance nor do I think of it as a fragrance that I would wear in the summer with the caramel and some of the florals are a bit heavy. It it seems too heavy to wear spring and summer here in Texas, and so I I kept thinking, where would an ozonic caramel scented um, floral fragrance work best? And uh, I was I kept <laughs> I kept thinking about it and thinking, well, would it even be suited for a beach? Right, they're usually warm and it's hot, <laughs> and then uh, it dawned on me. You're from the Pacific Northwest. Those beaches are never hot. And I think that's the perfect place for this fragrance. I think if you're going on a beach trip to somewhere where it's cooler and you're just hanging out at the beach and the waves and the air is blowing and you get those beautiful wafts of the, this ozonic beet, like water notes and the caramel, like on a boardwalk, I think that's the perfect place. Um, so this um, holiday time, we're going to visit my family and we're gonna stay a few days at the beach um, for my birthday. And I think I'll get a bunch of use out of that there. I think it is really a beautiful fragrance, but I feel really limited on when I'll be able to use this. Um, so I'm really hoping to get a lot of wear out of it um, this holiday season, um, just when we're at the beach and stuff. I don't think of it as a holiday fragrance or anything, but I almost think of this more as a cool weather fragrance. I did look at Fragrantica, and they do say that... Um, it's a summer or a spring fragrance. I get that because you think of like water notes and stuff and you think of um, uh, beachy summer time, but there's parts of it that to me are just too heavy that I just can't imagine this as something to be worn um, in the spring or the summer. However, I think you could pull it off in the night time as well. Um, it's, I just, I just imagine this somewhere where you're at a beach or like somewhere, um, uh, somewhere, where, uh, even a lake. I just don't think of this as like an everyday fragrance or even like a date night. Like there's something about it. It comes off to me a little bit masculine if I have to um, put a label on it. I know a lot of people think it's very feminine. Um, 
but to my nose it reminds me of like a lot of men's body washes and stuff. Um, I don't hate that. Um, it is a very pretty fragrance. I'm excited to use it this holiday season with my family. Uh, am I, do I regret getting this as a, my first ever blind buy? I don't think so. Um, I really like it. Um, I just recently got um, the original and Rose Extoss, um, um in a scent box um, and I was hoping to add them to this collection because I actually think the bottles um, are so cute. Unfortunately those are uh, very rosy but I'll get into that later on this um, um, month uh, when I um, talk about those fragrances and um, what I experienced. But um, would I recommend this for um, other people? Um, sure, I would say um, if you really like a very heavy ozonic fragrance and you don't mind wearing that um, only occasionally, um, or if you really enjoy wearing those kinds of fragrances um, more often and you don't mind that in your day-to-day, -day, um, then I, I think it's a fragrance for you. Um, I think anybody who lives maybe in the Northeast or even the Northwest, um, where near the, like the coast or something like that. I think this is like a really nice scent for that. Um, the, so the, the caramel comes out and it does, it reminds me of like being on a boardwalk when it's like really windy in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I love the beach up there. Uh, it's not, it's not like a, um, a very fun, like sandy hot beach. Um, I don't even like sand. Um, I like the boardwalk. I like the shops. I like looking at the cliffs and the ocean. Um, and that's what this reminds me of. Um, it is such um, a beautiful fragrance for that specific occasion. Um, so unfortunately, I don't know how much wear I will get out of this. Um, I'll want to keep it for a while to see how um, much I can use. Um, I'm not sure if this will stay in my collection long term. Um, we go up to visit my family every two to three years. And so after this trip, um, it might be too long until <laughs> I can wear this again, but if I store it safely, I can maybe get another wear or two out of it. Um, but I do think it's a good fragrance, but I do think it's limited in when I can wear it. Um, but uh, to each their own. Um, I don't know if you agree with me or if you disagree, have you ever smelled this? Um, please let, leave that in the comments down below. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're interested in hearing more about fragrance, please subscribe to my channel. I would really love it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a blessed day.